Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Portrait Journeys with Da Vinci. Greetings, art aficionados. I am Leonardo da Vinci, your guide on this artistic voyage. In our previous explorations, we delved into the captivating works of Diego Velázquez, Hans Holbein the Younger, and Rembrandt van Rijn, each of whom left an indelible mark on the pages of art history with their remarkable portraits and innovative techniques. And now, our artistic odyssey transports us back in time to the captivating world of the Italian Renaissance. We'll be shining a spotlight on the remarkable Sofonisba Anguissola, an artist whose brushwork resonated with influence, innovation, and a significant turning point in the history of art. While Anguissola may not be as widely known as the likes of Velázquez, Holbein, or even Rembrandt, her impact is felt throughout art history, especially concerning the acceptance of women as painters. The 16th century was not an era known for gender equality, yet here we find a woman who rose above the constraints of her time to become a luminary in the realm of portrait painting. Join us as we delve into her remarkable creations, uncovering the essence of her genius and the indelible mark she left on the art world, transcending gender constraints and illuminating the path for future generations of artists. Sofonisba Anguissola, a luminary of the Italian Renaissance, shared her remarkable talent with the world. Born in Cremona, Lombardy, Anguissola's artistic journey unfolded during a time of cultural transformation and artistic exploration. Her family's noble background instilled in her a deep appreciation for art and learning. Among her siblings, she stood out as the most accomplished and renowned, laying the foundation for a captivating exploration of her artistry. Anguissola's devotion to painting would become a trailblazing journey that set the stage for the acceptance of women as students of art. Her father played a pivotal role in ensuring she received a comprehensive education deeply rooted in the fine arts. At just 14, he orchestrated an opportunity for her to study under Bernardino Campi, a renowned portrait and religious painter from the Lombard School. One of Anguissola's early masterpieces is an extraordinary double portrait. It vividly captures her art teacher caught in the act of painting her own portrait, a symbol of Sofonisba's profound initiation into the world of art. In her early twenties, she embarked on a transformative journey to Rome, a pivotal moment in her artistic career. While in Rome, her sketches captured scenes and people, revealing her remarkable talent. An encounter with the esteemed Michelangelo led to an intriguing challenge. He tasked her with drawing a weeping boy, a demanding subject. Her triumph resulted in the creation of Boy Bitten by a Crayfish, which she shared with Michelangelo. Recognizing her immense potential, he mentored her, providing valuable sketches and guidance that profoundly influenced her art. Notably, Boy Bitten by a Crayfish became a wellspring of inspiration. Caravaggio is said to have drawn from her work for his Boy Bitten by a Lizard, a testament to her enduring impact on the art history. Anguissola traveled to Milan and painted the Duke of Alba, Fernando Alvarez de Toledo. Impressed, he recommended her to King Philip, second of the Spain. A year later, Anguissola joined the Spanish court. 
She captivated the king, who entrusted her with the role of lady-in-waiting and art teacher to the young Queen Elizabeth. Her artistic prowess even led to a papal commission to paint the queen's portrait. Anguissola collaborated closely with Alonso Sanchez Coelho, so closely, in fact, that a famous painting of the middle-aged King Philip, long attributed to other artists, has now been recognized as her own creation. Anguissola possessed a profound ability to capture the essence of humanity within her portraits, particularly in her depictions of faces, expressions, and the innocent countenances of children. Her keen observations and meticulous brushwork breathed life into her subjects, bringing forth an authenticity and emotional depth that transcended mere representation. Each stroke, each nuance in her work, spoke volumes about the intricacies of the human experience, and it's a testament to her artistic prowess that her creations continue to resonate and touch the hearts of viewers to this day. Let us delve into one of Anguissola's most captivating masterpieces, The Game of Chess. This painting is a renowned work that showcases her ability to capture the intimate and engaging moments of everyday life. It features her sisters playing chess, with a keen focus on the facial expressions and interactions between the subjects. This masterpiece is celebrated for its naturalism and the portrayal of women in a setting that transcends the traditional female roles of the time. This all-female cast challenges societal norms, portraying women not just as chess players, but as intellectual equals, breaking away from traditional 16th century representations of chess and women in art. The renowned Anthony van Dyck, a young Flemish painter, made his visit to Anguissola, then 92 years of age. Van Dyck, inspired by her artistry, sketched her portrait during his visit. Their conversation left an indelible mark on the young artist, who once claimed that he learned more about the true principles of painting from Anguissola than anything else in his life. Her wisdom and artistic spirit continued to inspire, even in the twilight of her career. Anguissola holds a special place in the history of art, particularly for feminist art historians. Throughout Western history, there were never voids in female artistic contributions, yet her remarkable success illuminated the path for countless women to embark on dedicated careers as artists. Her indelible influence paved the way for a host of accomplished successes, including luminaries such as Lavinia Fontana, Barbara Longhi, Feda Galizia, and the esteemed Artemisia Gentileschi. Thank you for joining us on this artistic voyage. If you found this exploration of art and its enduring impact captivating, we invite you to subscribe to our channel and explore the links in the description. There, you'll discover a thoughtfully curated collection of art products inspired by Anguissola and her contemporaries. Your support fuels our passion for uncovering the stories and secrets behind the portraits that have shaped the course of art. Join us in the upcoming episodes of Portrait Journeys with Da Vinci, and always remember, 
Art will never die.